Hello friends, today we will discuss another important topic, acute glomerulonephritis. You would expect this case in a history station. For history station, total 22 minutes are allotted, 14 minutes allotted for taking history and 8 minutes allotted for discussion. Total marks allotted 10. Acute glomerulonephritis is an acute inflammatory process affecting the glomeruli leading to hematuria, proteinuria, edema, hypertension and renal insufficiency. Clinical case, it is associated with a reduced urine output, hematuria or Coca-Cola color urine, headache, breathlessness, history of short throat preceding 2-3 weeks time and edema could be variable started from periorbital or pedal edema. You need to take a history of present illness started with onset, progress, duration, aggravating relieving factor, history of other systemic involvement uh, like any cardiac involvement or encephalopathy and uh, complications like hypertension, heart failure. Past medical history, a history of similar illness, past or hospital admission, any surgical history, any test done so far, like any urine dip or a renal ultrasound scan or blood biochemistry or any microbiology. Any medications uh, the child is on, if they, the child is on any drug, always inquire about the compliance and any side effects associated with this drug intake. Consultant involvement could be nephrologist uh, or general pediatrician or dietitian uh, are associated with this care. Birth history, development history, pubertal history are to be taken briefly. Nutritional history, you need to inquire about any salt restricted diet or any carbohydrate rich diet this patient is on or not. Immunization history and allergy history are equally important. Take the family history of similar illness, any history of glomerulonephritis in the family or any SLE or any vasculitis in the family or not. Any major illness, any history of consanguineous marriage, how is the family dynamics? Social history is very important. Most of the time, the hidden agenda lying here. So always inquire about the school, how is the academic going on? Is there any history of bully, loss of school days, any social support the child is getting, any education, healthcare plan or medical or breast the child is wearing? How this condition affecting the child? How this condition affecting the family? You need to take the personal history of how is the urine, how is the poo, how, how is the sleep and is any history of travel. Clinical signs, the edema could be variable, periorbital or pedal edema could be associated. You need to take the weight uh, and see the trend. Uh, jugular venous pressure, if it is raised, consider volume overload. Oliguria, defined by less than one mL per kg per hour. Hypertension uh, 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 could be associated with the features of encephalopathy like headache, nausea, vomiting, visual disturbances, restlessness and confusion. Any signs of cardiac failure like tachypnea, raised JVP, gallop rhythm, basal crackles, and enlarged liver. What are the differentials? Sequelae of uh, other bacterial or viral infection, chronic renal failure with exacerbation, IgA nephropathy, henoxcholine purpura, or HSP, uh, IgA nephropathy, messenger proliferative and uh, glomerulonephritis, Alport hereditary splenephritis, ANCA positive vasculitis, anti GBM disease, and SLE. Investigations start with the urine deep stick. If it is more than three plus positive, then consider hematuria. It could be associated with the proteinuria as well. You need to measure the early morning urine protein creatinine ratio. Uh, urine microscopy may reveal hematuria, red cell, and granular cast. Blood biochemistry using is calcium phosphate liver function test. Blood cat may show hyponatremia. The reason could be dilutional hypoalbuminemia or normal albumin level could be associated. In full blood count, uh, anemia could be uh, present because of the dilutional uh, uh, as a result of uh, uh, volume overload. Consider blood film if you suspect HUS and the coagulation screen are indicated. Uh, you need to do the anti streptolysin O titer, anti DNSB uh, level, and um, consider throat swab to rule out any group A streptococcus infection. Immunology first line in, uh, tests are C3, C4 level, anti nuclear antibody level, and IgA level. 
second line could be second line of immunology test or anti ds anti ds dna level anci ena anti gbm le, antibody level after a discussion with the nephrologist and me, you have to consider the renal ultrasound scan immediate management admit the patient strict uh, fluid balance monitoring and management if there is acute kidney injury follow the management uh, guideline uh, locally uh, and treatment of volume overload or hypertension are to be given by a uh, furosemide uh, severe cases uh, severe cases uh, of volume overload you may need to consider di dialysis treatment for abnormal biochemistry as a consequent of uh, renal failure you need to do uh, and oral antibiotic like pain v amoxicillin uh, suspension to be given for 10 days if there is any penicillin allergy consider azithromycin for five days for post prococcal glomerulonephritis nutritional management uh, we need to encourage the high carbohydrate uh, intake uh, discharge criteria if the BP is under good control, passing urine normally on free fluid, renal function test is improving and normal serum uh, potassium level. Follow up for gross hematuria, oliguria, abnormal biochemistry are usually resolved by uh, two three weeks time blood pressure should be normalized by three four weeks time low uh, if the c3 c3 level should be normal by three eight to ten weeks time proteinuria will resolve by six months and micro microscopic hematuria would resolve by 12 months when we need to consider tertiary care referral if there is a significant proteinuria urine protein creatine ratio more than 200 family history of glomerular disease, microscopic hematuria more than two years, macroscopic hematuria more than two weeks, persistent proteinuria, urine protein creatine ratio more than 50, if it is lasting more than six weeks, uh, oliguria or acute kidney injury, any hypertension, low C3 level more than eight weeks, positive ANA, anti-DS, DNA, uh, and anti-GBM or ANCA is positive and recurrent nephritis then you need to know what are the complement ab uh, abnormalities associated with the nephritis we would expect normal c3 and c4 level in ig nephropathy henoxcholine parapura anca positive glomerular nephritis low c3 and normal c4 level are expected in acute post prococcal glomerular nephritis patients you are proliferated with glomerular nephritis low c3 and low c4 count are uh, found in uh, SLE as well as a messenger proliferative problem nephritis, shunt nephritis and infective endocarditis. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for your love and support. Thank you.